Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thanks for joining us this morning. We'll be reading from Psalm 137. I'll be reading out of the English Standard Version. By the waters of Babylon, there we sat down and wept, when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung up our lyres, for there our captors required of us songs, and our tormentors mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let, not, let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Remember, Lord, O Lord, against the Edomites, the day of Jerusalem, how they said, Lay it bare, lay it bare, lay down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, doomed to be destroyed, blessed shall, be, shall he be who repays you with what you have done to us. Blessed shall be he be who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rock. This psalm is one that we don't really know when it was written exactly, but it's certainly referencing the Israelites' exile to Babylon. Uh, we don't really know if it's during that exile or after, uh, but either way, we it paints a picture of what it was like for them um, in Babylon. And how when they were there that the Babylonians were basically mocking them and, and saying, sing to us a song of Zion and were trying to require them to, to do this and whether it's uh, both in a mocking and a performing way, uh, we're not real sure, but either way, we know that it was not to honor God and and what they were asking of them. But in verse 4, it talks about how they had basically had no song left in them. Their joy had been taken away. Their, their drive had been taken away because they were under the rule of the Babylonians. They were being um, treated bad, you know, badly by them. And even, they even say, you know, if... I forget you, O oh Jerusalem, if I forget you to take away my skill. Don't don't let me be able to worship you. Don't let me be able to praise you. And don't let my tongue be able to sing to you. Um, their, their joy, their drive had been taken completely away by this exile to Babylon. But then in verse 7, um, it takes a turn that we probably don't think about very often. Uh, I know that I certainly don't. Is says, remember, O Lord, against the Edomites, the day of Jerusalem, how they said, lay it bare, lay it bare, down to its foundations. To the Israelites, when Babylon was coming to take them away, this was, uh, they were distant kin because those were Esau's descendants. Uh, whereas the Israelites were Jacob's descendants. Um, and they thought that they should come to the rescue. They thought they should come help them. At, and certainly they didn't think they should say, lay it bare, wipe them out, take it all. Um, and that's where he asked, uh, the psalmist asked the Lord to remember the Edomites that, that they did that. They asked for them. They cheered them on, the Babylonians on as they wiped them out and took them into exile. And then in verses uh, 8 and 9, it's a it's a pretty gruesome picture of what the psalmist is asking of the judgment on Babylon, where he asks for, says, doomed to be destroyed. Uh, blessed shall he be who repays you with what you have done to us. Blessed shall be he who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rock. That's a, That's a pretty gruesome picture to think about. But we know that the Lord will repay, whether it's now or later. He will repay. As we finish up this psalm today, I want you to think about something. Have I ever cheered 
on the destruction of someone else. How, it could be a brother, it could be a neighbor, it could be an enemy. But have you ever cheered on the destruction of someone else? And was that action justified? One thing that we might pray for is strength to praise you no matter what situation we are in. Thanks for joining us this morning for this reading of Psalm 137. We hope that it's uplift, been uplifting to you. We hope that you have a great rest of your day.